All right, uh, I'm playing with the Tiny SA in low frequencies. So the data sheet says that the uh, Tiny SA will go down to 100 kilohertz, um, which is pretty good. And um, so uh, I have instruments that are able to do this. So I had and went ahead and created, uh, this is actually a 90 kilohertz signal with uh, 10 kilohertz AM modulation. So this side band's 10 kilohertz below, and this one's 10 kilohertz above, which would be right here at 100 kilohertz. So I'm sweeping from zero to 100 kilohertz. So in the center here is 50 kilohertz. So let's go to 50 kilohertz. So at 50 kilohertz, it's working just, just a treat. Um, it's working great. Let's go lower. Okay, here's 30 kilohertz. It's still working fine. So I don't think you can ask for anything better than this. We're now at 20 kilohertz, the center. So the bottom side uh, lobe is at 10 kilohertz. So <laughs> this thing operates at 10 kilohertz. None of this 100 kilohertz rubbish. <laughs> uh, the data sheet says it should say uh, 10 kilohertz or lower. Uh, it's, it's right there at the noise probably. So 10 kilohertz is probably a good... Uh, a good number to put on it. So yeah, 10 kilohertz with AM modulation, or this is 20 kilohertz with AM modulation. So the, it certainly can see down to 10 kilohertz. Now it does uh, require you to change one of the settings or actually two of the settings, uh, just to make sure. Um, if you go to um, the, uh, first of all, hit config and then hit expert config and then hit more. There's two items here, uh, automatic gain control and, and uh, low noise amplifier. And both of those need to be turned off. If the uh, AGC is turned off, uh, it, 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 it's, it, it overrides, it over uh, modulates things. So turn AGC off, don't have an automatic. Turn it off, there's no, no checkbox. And then the LNA also, if the LNA is on, it causes problems too. So. Um, have both of those off and you're down to 10 kilohertz.